Hello guys, and welcome back to another video in Kerbal Space Program. 0 0.16, again. Yeah. Uh, welcome to X-51A Wave Rider Hypersonic Aircraft. <laughs> you may be thinking, what an ugly thing. Nah, I just struggled to making this thing, stabilizing it. Looks like a freaking chicken. Dog legs right here, look. With the handcuffs or whatever that is. Alright. Uh, um, the way I did this was I got. I placed down plenty of sweep wings. So, sweeping there, then not sweeping on top of each other and stuff like that. Kept on doing that. Then I got these um, strut connectors for support. Because I think they use what 150 strength. I don't know what that means. Maybe horsepower? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. And the main part, this is the part that we're controlling, this part here. So when we get high enough in altitude, right, this here will disconnect, this right here, and this part will launch, right? So um, I think the military, I don't know what what army or something is, is actually um, using this design, but I know it's a new design, and I think it's this one that uses scramjets, but unfortunately, you know, Google Space Program doesn't have a scramjet. So let's test this out. It will be a bit laggy at the start, so beware. <laughs> but ever overall, it's okay. I've tested this out. Um, you know, if you change your position like once when you're pretty high up, then it will go crazy. So it's best to just change it while we're low in altitude. So I think, as you can see, the front wheel, wheel, wheel here is important. It ha does sort of weigh everything down. I think, I'm not sure, I think this part disconnects. Have I done that? Probably no. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't disconnect. So that's dead weight right there. That will be an issue when we try and get this done. So, let's go. I mean, we've got quite a few engines here. We probably don't have to get full throttle. Whoa. Lift. Lift. Uh, are we in the air? I can't tell. Yes, we are. Alright, I'm holding down S. Damn, chicken legs. <laughs> it's going well. We got Bill, only one passenger. And he is bad at controlling this thing. Uh, a bit more, a bit more. A bit more. Kaboom, T. Alright, good. Alright, so. Plan is, get really high, eject this thing, make this launch. And I've got his air module there and another one up here. Because it's really hard to control. I'm not very good at controlling it without his air module. That is really important. Okay, we've got engine overheat. Never worry about that until it reaches down here. So that's fine. It's good. Up a bit. T. See how it went back, straight back. Sent damn center of gravity. I've got to change it a bit. It's one a bit, bit, bit more higher. A bit more. We're not turning. T. All right, we are pretty high now. Uh, I think this is the this is the time to actually launch, and we are decreasing speed. I don't know what the fast speed this thing actually goes. This is almost like a Boeing 747. Yeah, so I should just slow launch this thing. Oh, did it launch? Did it? Do? Yep. I just I don't want to take off yet. This part is still touching. <laughs> ah, cool. Whoa. T. T. Up, up. Go up. Come on. We need to get you in space. This It's going to come back down, crashing down. That's what the whole point of this um, this hypersonic aircraft actually does. It's, I think it's meant to build the payloads, like big bombs. Oof. So, excellent. All right. As I said from before, front part's an issue. It is now. Uh, come on. 
I think it is meant to go over 1,000 meters per second. But I guess not. Well, actually it will. It will go 1,000 meters per second above. Let's put the S, S key every now and then. Move the SS, of course. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> I hope I don't give you guys a headache. We might get in orbit. Yeah, might. Uh, ooh, come on. Nope. Nope. T. Come on. A uh, good orbit today. Oh, the way the front is just crazy. Alright, good. Down a bit. No, not gonna. We're not gonna get in orbit today. Oh, so close. Almost got there. Very close. This is another waiver that I got and it actually worked. Where we? Yeah, so this this is another one that actually successfully made orbit. As you can see, the orbit is pretty cool, kid. But overall, this is good. So I'm just gonna fast forward this on the game, of course, and um, crash down. We looks pretty cool. Pretty nice. Let's go even faster. Bye. Yeah, as, as soon as we get low and pretty low, it sort of it's not very good at controlling. When we get down here, um, we might even straighten up even more. You'll see, probably. So, are we? Yeah, we're going down. It's night time too. I've been here so many times. Oh, we're going on an angle. We're going this way. Yeah. 2,500 meters per second up to here, so that's pretty good. We're going very fast. I mean, this always looks cool. And we slow down like crazy. I mean, look at that. Slowing down by the hundreds. And when you get to this altitude, you can start hearing the, the air, sort of air crashing too. This uh, the flying vehicle. I'm gonna do something funny. I'm gonna see if I can land it with just one wheel. Probably not. We. Pretty good. I'm not sure, but if these fuel tanks are empty, does that make everything lighter? Does, does the game actually consider that? I'm not sure. It, does it think that these fuel tanks are still full? Because they're not. Yeah, we were, I'm holding down S right now. See, and uh, it's not lifting up. But it's a payload. It's meant to go crash down and burn and kill everyone. So that's bad. Down, down, down. Fast that. There's no disconnecting stage here, so get ready to crash. Here is very loud noise. Cabo. Very nice. <laughs> uh, that was quite interesting. It's a very interesting design. You will have major problems when you try it out. My main problem, which I think I should have mentioned before, is when I got high enough in altitude, when I said pretty high, every part will actually disconnect. Like everything. These parts would fall apart, this everything. And you'd see it, like scatter into the air. So that's pretty funny. So that's the end of the episode, guys. Um, hope you liked this bomb threat to World War Three. 
Have a nice day. Thank you.